Hey, what's up YouTube? Jerry here. Just wanted to do another quick video today because uh, quite frankly, I'm not feeling too good and I'm homesick, so I was bored, so I went and grabbed the camera. Uh, the one room I really haven't shown you guys yet is my bedroom, which is another place where I do a whole lot of gaming. So I figured I'd just give you the 10 cent tour here and uh, go around the room, kind of show you a couple things and uh, maybe play some Forza. All right, this is my bedroom. I'm gonna use manual focus this time, so it might be a little bit blurry. Um, this 50 millimeter lens is a little bit of a pain to do video with, but the 5D Mark II Canon does awesome video. But anyways, let me get not get off topic here. Um, this is the the room downstairs, kind of the man cave's little brother. Uh, coming over here, I have my little side compartment where I keep all my controllers. I got my iPad. Got a picture of my son Xander. Oh man, he's cute. So, and, uh, so here, let me go over some of the stuff. So anyways, this is my headset that I have that I play when my wife's sleeping. Yeah, that's right. I'm married. Um, you guys still leave the forever alone comments and stuff, but, uh, but no, I'm actually married, uh, for real. Um, I actually got a picture up here over the bed. Um, I didn't buy that from Kodak. That's, that's actually my family. So anyways, back to the video here. Uh, this is my Triton headset. It's one of the older models. It's got a standalone amplifier that's got, a optical in so I can listen to my uh, PlayStation 3 and my Xbox 360 through it it's got a little control on the cable that you can use too um, to plug directly into the controller on the Xbox for the microphone so there's not a microphone on it right now it's uh, down here in this cabinet so up here on the top I've got a couple controllers on the top let me open this up this is my little side compartment here and you can see I have a Gears of War edition, Xbox 360. In my other video, I have the Modern Warfare one upstairs. Um, whenever I buy a new Xbox, I try to get something interesting. And then I've got the original first generation PlayStation 3. So not the new slim one, but the one that just like belts out heat. Um, it, it literally like heats the room. So coming down here, I got my controller charging tower. Um, I'm not really sure who makes it, but uh, very handy. I just throw my controllers on there. When it's blue, I'm good to go. There's a couple of my games. I've got a lot more than that upstairs. And down here in the bottom, I got all my random crap. I got my wrist splints because um, I actually have pretty bad tendonitis in both both arms. You get that from having a career typing, some Bluetooth keyboards, remotes, and whatnot. So that's pretty much what's on this side of the bed right here. So if we walk around to the other side, um, this is my wife's side of the bed. So she has her magazine racks and of course, she's got her iPad. We've got some monitoring equipment for watching the kiddo. Um, got two Sennheiser wireless headsets. We use those for watching movies. You can also use them for the games. A uh, lot higher quality sound than the Triton, but no microphone and no 5.1. So coming down here, a little bit messy in here, forgive it. I've got my 7.1 Onkyo receiver. Uh, I've got a power line conditioner for all the power coming in here, or power out here. and. Uh, Seattle Washington isn't the greatest um, some random tidbits then down here at the bottom I have my media center PC and actually the remote to my GoPro is charging off of it but I have a media center PC on every TV in my house so that I can do all the computer stuff and over on the other side there I also have get the focus a wireless keyboard which I'll show you here in a minute and then the big deal is this guy up here on the ceiling this is a LG 1080p HD projector and it's projecting onto a pretty nice screen here. It's uh, come over here. It's an SI Black Diamond. Um, it's the 1.4 gain, I believe, not the 0.8. Uh, phenomenal screen. Literally, if you're thinking about getting a projector, spend more on the screen than you do on the projector, and you'll end up with something much, much better. So let's see what else. So this is what it looks like up on the ceiling here. Sorry about the focus being a little leggy. I'm having to do it by hand. Um, but here, let me show you that wireless keyboard real quick too. So this is the, get some focus here. This is the guy, this thing's actually really, really cool. You open it up and it powers on. Then this acts as a trackpad or a, or a multi-directional keypad. So you can get it in focus a little bit better here. There we go. And they're pretty inexpensive. Um, pretty easy to type on too. But it's actually, it's actually quite nice. And then over here I have my Logitech remote. Which this is one of those multi-function remotes. Let's see if I can get that in there. It'll power on. 
then I have my activities. I can watch TV, I can play Xbox, I can play PlayStation 3. So if I wanna play Xbox, I just push this button and everything starts coming to life. Projector takes a little while to power on and light up. So I'll go ahead and cut here and skip ahead. One more quick thing. Uh, on my other video, I showed the sound that the Xbox turns on or plays when you turn it on. So I figured I'd do this one too. Since it's the Gears of War one, it makes like a Gears of War sound when you power it on. For some reason, I find that really cool. All right, let's see. What are we playing? I think I got Forza already in there. Yep. There it is, Forza. I have a lot of fun. That's this is pretty much the primary game I play in this room. All right, I think it's booting up. I'm logged in. If you guys want, I'm Barnacles. That's my gamer tag. So uh, feel free to shoot me a friend request if you want to play Forza, Modern Warfare 3, or Battlefield 3. I've got all of them. All right, so here we go. Here's the Xbox. Let me power on a controller here. start it up on the other note I really appreciate all the positive feedback everybody's been giving me uh, really makes it a pleasure to make these videos and I actually enjoy doing it so um, keep them coming I hope you keep subscribing and keep watching and I'll keep making them uh, also if you have suggestions feel free to shoot me a message a private message or you can just leave it in a comment and uh, if you guys want I can start addressing comment questions too like I can do videos if you'd like like every couple of weeks and just answer everybody's questions if that's better than coming back and reading the comments just let me know let me talk a little bit about the stereo system that I have in here so I showed you the on kill receiver but I have the rear channels these guys are Polk um, very heavy little speakers they're, they're phenomenally powerful for their size I think they're like 120 watts power handling and then I also have them up here in the corners but then I also have these full-size Yamaha stacks down here. And these provide a lot more bass. And I've got a, I think it's a 120 watt powered subwoofer that's actually un, under the bed in a hidden compartment in the center. So the bed really rocks and rolls when you're playing games. Let me climb up on the bed seat and see what this looks like from my angle. Now the black diamond screen uh, has really good contrast. Right now I have all the lights on in the room um, and some light coming in through the window and the hallway lights on. And the contrast is actually still really, really good. Let me go ahead and turn out all the lights now and uh, We'll go ahead and start playing. I'll do a race. Forgot to mention my cat sitting here through the whole video. This is Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Kitty, say hi to everybody on YouTube. All right, well, they're not as smart as dogs, but anyway, she's a pretty cool cat. All right, I turned off one of the lights. So this is what it looks like with just one light on. Now let me go ahead and turn off the, the last one here. Oop. There we go. So you can kind of get an idea of how this looks. I absolutely love projectors though. I used to be big on flat panels. I still am. I use them in places where, you know, you can't get a projector set up. But uh, I just, I really, really love projectors. This is my third projector and second screen and uh, being able to just lay back in your bed at night and watch a movie with 5.1 surround sound and you know a 91 inch screen it's just it, it's just amazing and honestly if you shop around and you know you, you get a screen that's not quite this expensive um you know and then get a you know kind of a budget projector you can actually get a pretty phenomenal setup for about a thousand to fifteen hundred which is what you're going to end up paying for a really large you know uh lcd or plasma All right, well, let me find a place to get this camera set up so I can actually just leave it sitting while I play a game. All right, let's play some Forza. All right, cat, out of the way. 
Shoot. I just noticed my projector's a little out of focus from dusting it earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. There we go. All right. Today you'll get back on track at Northamptonshire, England's Silverstone Racing Circuit. Hey, Anna. Get out of the way. Shoot. Hopefully this video turns out okay. I just got the camera leaning against the pillow. Oh, the Lancia Stratos is like one of my favorite cars in the game. Uh, trick it out, give it max horsepower, it's phenomenal. Anytime I do a video, I just suck at gaming. Anytime I know somebody's watching. Ooh. That should be a rule in life. Don't ever do anything worth doing if somebody's watching. You'll screw it up. Alright, come on, out of the way, out of the way, out of my way. You ever notice the AI in Forza just it sucks? It just drives horribly, I get smashed into constantly. Or if you like accelerate, you know, into a corner too fast, the guy in front of you will just go flying off the track at like 200 miles an hour. It's ridiculous. But still by far the best racing game I've played. And I'm not biased because I have GT5 also for PlayStation 3. Obviously, I can't drive right now. All right, well, I obviously can't drive today. Um, usually, I'm pretty good at Forza, but uh, anytime anybody's watching, I can't figure it out. So hopefully, I get over that eventually. Otherwise, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos of me sucking. But that's all right, because everybody seems to like watching them. Um, all right, well, hey, I hope you enjoyed seeing the room. I mean, it's not it's, it's not like the man cave. I don't have, like, you know, all my super cool stuff in here. But when I just want to come and kick back and unwind, like today when I'm not feeling too good, you know, just sit back and play some Forza. Um, in the last couple days, I just beat uh, 
uh, just a game on PS3 called Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Fantastic game. If you got a PlayStation 3, you should play the whole trilogy. It's amazing. But anyways, let me just, uh, I'll just do a quick little loop around the room again and uh, wrap this up. Keep an eye out for my next video and please subscribe.